Hey Logo Designers! Today I'd like to show you the new Pantone first workflow inside of Logo Package Express. The workflow for Pantone conversion inside of Logo Package Express used to be that you would bring in logo artwork with CMYK or RGB colors applied, and then when you generated print logos, the Logo Package Express would automatically find the best Pantone match for your colors. But oftentimes, people have already chosen Pantone colors for their logo artwork and would like to keep those. What you see here is a previously generated suite of logos, and the Pantone conversion was automatic. So if I click on this logo mark here, you can see in the swatch panel that this was Pantone 361C. Well, maybe we already had a Pantone picked out and it was Pantone 360. So how can we easily get Logo Package Express to keep the Pantones that we have chosen instead of having to manually reapply them ourselves? Well, here is the solution. So I'm going to create a completely new Logo Package and this Logo Package is going to use Logo Artwork that is already set in Pantone. We have 360C and we have 7677C as our Pantone colors. So when I set the logo now, the Pantone colors have been preserved. So what happens when we actually make our logos? Well, I'll set all the components and then I will click make print logos. And what you will see is that instead of having a CMYK color get converted to Pantone, we've converted the Pantone color to a CMYK color. As you can see here, we now have CMYK. And when we come down to the Pantone coded version, you will see that the colors for this logo mark are that same 360C and the same 7677C. And we've carried those colors across to the Pantone uncoded colors as well. This is the new Pantone first workflow inside of Logo Package Express. Thanks.